Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Thursday. <laughs> Happy Thursday. Oh my goodness. Sorry for missing yesterday. Overslept. Anyways, it's just been one of those weeks, I guess. Um, hard to get up, but nevertheless, I'm here. <laughs> I'm here, coffee in hand. <laughs> so good morning, happy Thursday, and we, we're going to do this thing, y'all. We're on day 96, day 96, oh. <laughs> we have dug through 95 devotions together, oh my goodness, 100 Days to Brave by Annie F. Downs, and we are on day 96. And today's title is Jesus Was Brave. Jesus Was Brave. Such a good devotion today. Um, John 15, 18 is the scripture and it says, If the world hates you, keep in mind that it hated me first. If the world hates you, keep in mind that it hated me first. John 15, 18. If you're watching the li me live, give me hashtag one. If you're watching the replay, give me hashtag two. And we're going to get going here in this devotion today. So she says, I am now in my mid-30s. Jesus and I have lived on earth about the same amount of time, give or take. It's crazy to think about. We both lived through our 20s. He with no mistakes or regrets. <laughs> me with enough for both of us. Something gets very real about Jesus being human when you're the same age as he was. When you only think about Jesus as divine, then you sort of miss the fact that Jesus is human. So when my mind and heart begin to reflect on the two natures a bit, everything changed. Listen, I realized just how brave Jesus was. He walked away from a job that was stable. I mean, listen, he walked away from a respectable life to become homeless and to roam around Israel for three years talking about the kingdom of God. I can't imagine my friends turning on me the way Peter turned on Jesus. I can't imagine church leaders hating me the way that they hated Jesus. I can't imagine being brave in all the ways he was. I can't imagine not knowing him. I'm so glad I get to, aren't you? So glad. Something changed the closer I got to his age. I started to know him differently. I saw him like one of my friends, like one of the dudes I hang out with all the time. He's not some adult doing adult things. He's my age. It stokes my fire of courage remembering that Jesus did some majorly brave things right here, right where I am, single like me, human like me, sinless, unlike me, but tempted like me. And he took a risk on me and you, all of us, right? He asked his disciples to do the same to give up everything to follow him. And he asked us to do the very same thing, to follow him, to live our lives bravely as he lived his, pouring it out for a hurting, hostile world. The world hated Jesus, but he was brave enough to give his life for it anyway. What love, what love, guys. The truth of who Jesus is and what he did on earth, the son of God who came to earth to take on our sins, is the most courageous thing this planet has ever seen. The most courageous thing this planet has ever seen. Man, I love that she says that he asked us to do the same thing every day, to give up everything to follow him. I think about as I've been reading through the Gospels and how Jesus, when he, when he first went up to the disciples, the different ones that were, they were fishing, they were on a boat, that was their livelihood. It was everything they knew. It was the only thing they knew. They were, 
taking care of their families and their selves and whatever. You know what I mean? Like they were, they were doing their job. And he said, follow me. And immediately they did. They just did it. They just dropped the nets. They got out of the boat and they followed Jesus. They left their family. They left everything. They left it all behind and they just followed him. And he's asking us to do it, to follow him. To not depend on everything else, right? Stop following everything else. Follow Jesus. Man, follow him. Read the gospels. Find out what he, who he is and what he's like. What his, what his life, his ministry was while he was on earth. While he walked the earth. Man, read it. Read his words. Find out his, how he loves us so much. And why he said, follow me. Follow me. Come and see. When they'd ask him, where are you staying? Where are you going? Come and see. Come and see. Come follow me. <laughs> and they were just dropping what they did to follow him. Because there's just something about Jesus, right? <laughs> Amen? Man, talk about being brave. Talk about, you know, we're supposed to live every day to try to be more like Jesus, right? He's the bravest person I know. <laughs> Seriously, we want to be more like him every single day. Her Be Brave Challenge here, it says, Thank Jesus for the courage he showed in all the Bible stories you have read about him. And everything that we've read, everything that we know, thank him. Thank him for that courage, for doing it, for, for being the Son of God, for, for, for just doing all the things that he did, the miracles, man, for believing, right? Has to, he's Jesus. <laughs> but just thank him for who he is. I think sometimes we forget just to thank God for who he is. We want to we wanna thank him for all the things he can do for us, but we just we don't stop for a second just to say thank you for who you are. So let's do that today. Let's thank Jesus just for being Jesus. That's the devotion today, guys. That's it. That is day 96. We are almost through with this thing. There's only 100 in here. So we are um, getting to the end of this and not so sure what I'm going to do next. I'm going to do something. <laughs> going to do something. <laughs> but, um, but that's it for today. Y'all have a wonderful Thursday. Be blessed. Smile. Oh my goodness. It's a blessing to be alive today. Thank the Lord for everything, for being who he is, right? Y'all have a blessed day, and I will see y'all tomorrow on the NJ Daily. Bye, guys.